ask you, John, how do you feel? Because I am really pissed. You pissed, John. <gasps> yeah. Last we saw John Wick at the end of Parabellum, he was pissed. Shot by a friend, falling down from a roof of a New York Continental, he wanted vengeance. So what will the new entry offer us? Will he take down the whole high table? Will he fall back in line? Who will be in his way? Hi there, it's Micha. If you want to learn more and spoiler free, then join me for this short review video. And so it begins. The chapter starts with John seeking out the elder who sits above the table once more. This time not for advice though, but to take him out. Therefore the organization unleashes the Marquis, someone who still has to follow the rules, but has unlimited access to the high table's resources. Now John is hunted by the Marquis and his henchmen, an old friend who was blackmailed into taking him down, and all the freelancing assassins the world has to offer, including a very skilled one who could have taken him out already, but is just waiting for the bounty to get even higher and who is as much a dog lover as our hero. <laughs> By the end of the film, new alliances are formed and allegiances have changed. But until then, it will be one hell of a fight. Especially the fight up a flight of stairs that is. Watch out for that one. Okay now, of course the newest movie in the franchise doesn't disappoint. It offers the same style of violence that looks like taken directly out of a video game, including some exciting new angles and weapons. Like filming scenes from above while John walks through a building, shooting guys with bullets that ignites them on impact, while still being very realistic in regards of his tactics and weapon usage, including constantly reloading and changing weapons he picks up from the bodies he is leaving behind. Again, just like in a third person shooter. On the downside we have the runtime, because even the best choreographed fight scenes apparently lose their impact if a movie is almost three hours long. And especially the first hour, though very well done, could have completely been removed, because here he is visiting a friend who runs the Osaka Continental, for no reason and with no impact on the remaining story, which results in John and his friend's crew shooting it out with a team sent by the Marquis. This actually makes John look like an idiot and asshole, and the sequence only has an impact due to the post credit scene, which then almost completely demolishes the meaning the rest of the movie plot tries to bring across. At least that is how I saw it. This all could easily have been avoided by just not going there, both literally and figuratively. In the end, the movie will leave you with some questions about how the franchise will continue, while you also will have some pretty good ideas about what that steps will be. Likely after a little bit of a hiatus though. Let's look at the rating. I overall really enjoyed this movie and the action, though they should have tightened the runtime a bit, both for the viewers and the plot's sake. There are some twists you likely won't anticipate, while some are quite obvious, but somehow it all fits quite well together. While the third chapter in my opinion was superior and I likely would have scored that one around 9 points, the fourth chapter falls a bit behind. Just on the merits of the storyline, I would give it 7 out of 10 points, but in combination with the still breathtaking action scenes, I'm going with 8 out of 10 points. Even though I think they should have scrapped the post credit scene. However, somehow I believe that what is shown will not play out the way we are supposed to think. And the next installment will pick up exactly at that moment, resolving all questions with which we might have ended up. Do you agree on that or do you have a different take? Did you like the movie or were you disappointed? Did it surprise you in any way? Whatever it is, let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this quick review, please hit the like button. So much for now, see you next time and thanks for watching. However, somehow I believe that is shown there. However, somehow I believe that it is shown. However, somehow I believe what is shown there will not play out the way we are supposed. However, somehow I believe that what is shown there will not play out the way we are supposed to think.